Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be going over the Vision chassis, which I've had this for a few years now and wanted to do a bit of a quick overview of what this all has to offer. Starting with the chassis overall, before we get into the breakdowns of each section, it is made in Norway and is built from 7075 aluminum. It can be used for a wide variety of applications from competition to long range hunting and tactical applications. It has all universal attachment interfaces like Arca, M-Lock, and QD cups, so nothing proprietary that you have to spend some extra money on to get existing gear to work with this, which I really liked. It also has a pretty modular forend to suit any needs for hunting and competitions. Now, let's get into the breakdown of the midsection. The chassis is available for several popular short action and long action inlets in both the left and right hand configurations. It has a built-in bubble level, extra wide and ambi mag release, a very functional magwell which is designed to accept AICS CIP pattern magazines dependent upon the action inlet, and also has a barricade stop which works perfect for me in competitions. There are attachment points on both sides of the trigger guard for mounting accessories like thumb rest which is included with the chassis, dope cards, timers, and a lot more. And finally, when it comes to the grip, any AR style grip can be used with this chassis. Now moving back to the buttstock, it has a vertical cheek piece adjustment that we can move by twisting this knob, along with a vertical bag rider adjustment too, which is also adjusted by twisting the knob here and tightening to secure. One of the things I do like about the cheek piece is that if you are trying to get into your rifle to clean it, you just twist this knob completely out and take the cheek piece off, which is quick and convenient for cleaning. Some setups I've had have a few parts that require a hex key to get the cheek piece off, which it's no big deal, but it does take more time than something like this. To me, that's pretty convenient and the little things like that add up to me personally. One of the big things guys really like though is the option to fold their stock for their system if they don't like messing with their adjustments to get into the rifle to clean. I don't have one yet, but you can get a folder to add to your chassis, which is a really nice option for transport too. With the shoulder rest, it can also be adjusted in regard of length of pull by twisting this knob for adjustment. However, there is an option now to get a push button for quicker length of pull adjustment. For shorter shooters, you can also get a shortened length of pull adapter block, which is great for really trying to get this whole system to fit perfectly to your body type. For the butt pad itself though, it can be raised and lowered for a total of 1.25 inches of movement. As for QD attachment points, they are on either side of the buttstock as well. For the competition 4 in, it can accommodate 1.25 inch barrels. I am using the Proof Research Competition Contour, which is pretty beefy if you aren't familiar with this type of contour and I have a good amount of room left over. It then has Arca Dovetail down the entire length of the rail, which is nice when running a tripod all the way down to the magwell. Overall, it has eight M-Lock slots on either side and underneath for a total of 24 M-Lock slots. It can accommodate both internal and external weights with the slots, so no proprietary attachment method is needed. Furthermore, the MDT and Vision Weight kits don't impede the use of Arca when used simultaneously. If they hang too low, it can prevent from sliding whatever you have mounted via ARCA past that position of where the weight kit is. Moving forward, it has six QD locks on the rail alone and can fit up to three night vision bridges in multiple positions. However, there is offerings for an enclosed night vision bridge, so you can slap it on the end of your competition rail to make it flush fit with the end. If you want a full covered top rail look, you'll just have to stack three of the night vision bridges on top. I heard they are supposed to come out with a one piece sometime soon for the newer vision chassis, so that will be pretty cool to see. The vision chassis itself does not come with the bridges, but if you do end up getting them, you can get them without and with pick rail, which those have 20 MOA built in. While this competition forend is awesome, vision does make several different forends, which one of them is the covert. It's a short competition rail, ideal for backpacking or truck guns, even for 22 trainers. And then the mid-length comp rail, which a lot of guys will use on rimfire trainers too. All of them are pretty much the same thing. They are just different lengths. So anyway, now to end this video, let's head out to the range and shoot some rounds on target. 